to me, there's really no challenge. To me, it's challenges are motivations. You know, it motivates me to do bit better. And I do not compete with anybody. I only compete with myself. My name is Eddie M. Sotianko. This is my story about opportunity and growth. I've been in the business for uh, almost 50 years. The insurance business is like, to me, it's something like uh, you are the person that provides for the people that will be left behind. And so my mission is to help people. The insurance business, if you look at it, you know, the older you get, the better and the more professional you look. People will look at you as more matured and more professional. Just be honest, you know, you have to, you know, just have this integrity and, and hard work, of course. And then after hard work, it has to come, 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 you know, like in with a, sm a smart work. But I don't know how long I'm gonna be. I'm gonna probably just take it a year out at the time. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen next, as I said, but you know, I'm not growing any younger. After I reach the age 50, you know, it's very difficult, you know, to go further, you know? I'm just kidding. <laughs> the first time when RC reopened, the president, RC, uh, re reopened uh, Will Financial, that was probably some 17, 18 years ago. So he, he came to me, a young man, came to me and said, boss, he said, he called me boss. Up to now, he called me boss. Uh, Mr. Sutianko, he said, uh, can, you know, can you help me? I'm, I'm trying to, to uh, you know, revive the agency. And he said, if you can help me, I'll be grand happy. I said, I said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not associated with, uh, you know, I'm not committed to anybody right now. So I said, I'll be glad and happy to be with you. And so since that time, I've been very loyal to him. He's been very loyal to me. He's been straightforward to me. I've been straightforward to him. And so I think, you know, uh, as I said, symbiotic relationship. And he has given me good products too. I can't complain about the products he has given me. Success story. Um, I would say when I probably hit the top of the table awards, you know, because that's something that not everybody can reach. Just imagine out how many millions of insurance professionals, only 200 reached the top of the table award. Going back, you know, like many, many years ago, <clears throat> when I first started in the business, I uh, started recruiting a lot of people and I was considered probably the largest Filipino-American or Asian-American employer in the business. You know, I had over 2,000 people under me. At those times, I was so energetic, I was so strong, uh, brave and strong to do all of these things. And so when I started, you know, when my son came out, you know, my son, the, the youngest one, the the uh, shoe, shoe business man came out, I decided to nice hang loose and started, you know, relaxing. So I said, I'm not gonna do this again. So I started, you know, like chopping up a lot of our people and they started going on their own. And so when somebody comes to me when I was there, ask me about how do I start the business? I said, well, first of all, you have to start having solid foundation because, you know, if you don't have solid foundation, you're gonna cross in life while growing up, you're not gonna be able to grow up, you know, go up. So I said, just be loyal, be honest, and preserve your integrity, and learn, and you know, be knowledgeable. So if you do that, you can be successful in the business. And again, success is very important because before you can consider yourself a successful person, you have to know the definition of success. To me, the definition of success is, success is the realization of a worthy goal. And again, it's got to be come along with the three D's of success, which is dedication, determination, and desire. One of those missing, you cannot succeed. Mm -hmm.